Hi, welcome to Synopsis Insight. My name is Swami Venkat. I am the Senior Director for Platform Marketing in the Design Group. And with me here today is Anton Dhamik. Anton actually recently got promoted to be the Executive VP and GM of the Design Group. Congratulations, Anton. Thank you. And welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about uh, one fact that you've been highlighting in many of your presentations, uh, exec forums, keynotes, panels, and that is the fact that you see many advanced designs happening across the uh, geometry, not just at 16, right? So uh, we wanted to find out what does that mean for Synopsys and for our partners and customers. Yes, just, yes, thanks, Swami. And yes, I have been talking about this for a while, and uh, I'll give you several reasons for that. Uh, the perception that advanced designs happens only at the most advanced nodes has been prevalent for a long time because most of our customers always try, try to jump to the newest node Correct. for their newest design. Mm -hmm. So we always think that people doing, you know, first 28, the first 20, 20 true, now FinFed at 14, 16. Mm -hmm. That's what advanced design is. Yeah. But my view is that um, there is a tremendous amount of advanced design being done at the established nodes, meaning 28, could be if, if it is established mm -hmm. or advanced, mm -hmm. but 40, 65 and above. And the reason is very simple. Um, you have competition irrespective of the business that you are in. Sure. And there is, if you are not going to have a semiconductor technology that is very different to your competitor, how mm -hmm. can you beat them? You need That's to do right. better design. Mm -hmm. So for me, advanced design is independent of node. There is a second piece that uh, is very important here. Uh, Moore's law always said we can put so many more transistors in the next node and so on. And the part that is less uh, brought up often is that also there was an economic part that said the same cost or That's diminished right. cost. Right. It was very interesting that uh, I think it's two or three years ago, Gordon Moore received one more medal yes. for his work. <laughs> and he mentioned that uh, uh, people remember his good prediction, not his bad prediction, but he exactly mentioned the issue that cost was a decreasing uh, curve there. And today there is a debate, if you guys have seen the latest between TSMC and Intel, is the cost for transistor going down or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But irrespective of that, the cost of the newest technologies is high. True. You have double patterning, you have more layers of metal, you have all these extra pieces. At the same time, there is design where other technologies, where the, the feature size is less of the main concern. You have MEMS, you have bipolar types, transistors, you have high voltage, you have mm -hmm. reliability, and all these um, designs are being done 65, 90, 130. Uh, we have a very interesting success with a customer in Europe, and I believe the, the chip was at 450 oh, wow. <laughs> meters or so. So if you look at all these factors, and you examine some of what some consulting companies are telling us is that maybe 80% of designs and half of the wafers mm. for the next few years are going to be in 65 nanometers and above. So for wow. us, then, it is very important, and that's part of the mission of this uh, new group that we formed combining the former IG and AMSG group in this design group, is to make sure that our customers have access to superior EVA technology so that they can do advanced design irrespective of the node that they are targeting their design. Right. So that for me, sense. there is a very important business reason for us to have that capability, and that's where we are today. Great. 